Hey Collectors, Anthony from Hashtag here, and today we're taking a look at the Masters of the Universe Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover, Turtles of Grayskull, and we have in front of us Raphael. Uh, as you may have seen previously, I did pick up the Mutated He-Man, so this is the uh, Raphael who is a crossover with, it looks like Ram Man? Although I, I would say that's a crossover that they may have with a number of people. I am not... Oh yeah, it just says remove Ram Man's helmet, so I just looked on the box. That's what I get for not reading first. Um, so here's the box. Remove Ram Man's helmet. Da da. And uh, as you see, the other ones in this line have Beast Man, Shredder, Ram Man, and Raphael. And uh, here's the box art. Uh, I tore up the front pretty good. But uh, yeah, that's for that. Um, um, he's a chunky boy. Now I wanted to uh, show you comparisons, but first uh, he does come up with a comic book, as uh, most He Man does. Also comes with instructions about how to take him apart, uh, and this is this is removal parts. His head, his head. I don't know why they did this adjustable part thing, but it's whatever. Nothing on the back here. And then of course he comes with uh, a dagger side thing goes on his. Uh, it's like a gauntlet, I guess. And then actually a big side looking sword. So I mean those are kind of cool. And um, we will move these out of the way and bring in some stuff for comparison. And the first thing I want to show you is, I mean, I picked both storage shells, just coincidence-wise, because they're a little bit bigger. Here is, here is a Raphael from uh, the 2017 series, I believe. Uh, yeah. And then here's storage shell Raphael um, based on the 90s toy line. If I can get him to stand up. Uh, there we go. Yeah, he's, he's quite big. And it kind of reminds me of the Superhero Turtles anime from back in the day uh, where they get like mutated in superpowers. So that's the kind of where my brain goes for it with it. Um, so, of course, he has these two weapons here. And um, I'm going to quickly show you close up of him. And uh, here's the back. And apparently the back comes off to become a shield. Uh, but let's put these on him real quick. So it just slides over his hand. Oh, okay. So it's not it's just friction. There's no nothing like transformers. You have that five millimeter clip or something uh, so just the typical So that looks kind of cool, right? Let's, let's Wolverine him up here uh, Helmet comes off. Oh, that's actually pretty nifty uh, Yeah Oops. Oh, actually, is, I think the shell comes off. Uh, it looks like there is something back here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there it goes. And then... Oh, there's a grip here. So, um, yeah, this is friction. And let's say I want to take this off and put the grip in his hand. There we go. And then I guess the side can go in here. Okay, put this back. There we go. Get him to stand up there. So here is what he looks in close up with his head exposed like that. And he has the skirt like He-Man does. He even has the brown pants. It's weird to see him without a shell. Although they give him like a soft shell underneath. So that's interesting. So let's pull this off. Take this out of his hand, take this off his hand, and, um, oh, this stuff may actually come off. Question is, do I want it to? And uh, it says, no, the, the top piece does not come off the helmet. Uh, there's part of his arms, the waistband comes off, and his feet. Well, we're not going to take them apart, because uh, if you saw the Mutated Human video, it made things feel less secure. So I'm not a fan of that. But anyway, articulation. Uh, head... It's uh, left and right, no up and down, well, a little bit up and down. Uh, the armor kind of gets in the way. It's like, you sure the armor doesn't come off? Uh, it's on there, his head's too big, they ain't gonna come off. Okay, um, arms limited by space, there's some outwards movement as you see here. Uh, uh, bends, the elbow, arms 360 and wrist swivel. So we get that. Uh, it's a very clicky. Um, limited by this on the outwards. Actually, he's kind of just stuck there. 
Uh, let's see, elbow bend, and then of course wrist bend and rotation. So so far so good. And then let's see the legs. You got the the big old ball joint there in the leg, and you can go forward and back, just not very far. And the bend. His, his articulation kind of reminds me of the uh, Power Rangers figures, the neutral Power Ranger figures. So the foot goes back, forward, and rotates, and there's a little bit of side to side, I think. Yeah, there's a little bit of side to side. So yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Uh, waist, of course, it's just on a straight, you know, you can go 360. Yeah, you can. Boy, his back's broken now. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. Um... I'm not going to go out of my way to collect any more of these guys. I didn't have a He-Man, so I grabbed a mutated He-Man because I have the old original Skeletor. And uh, I collect Raphael, so he was a must either way. I uh, got some help from a local collector's club, so I was able to finally find him. And, um, yeah, because the wave he's in, I just haven't been able to find in store. But uh, he's still available. Uh, the, the secondary market is crazy for this guy. It's like 60 bucks, and this is at the end of... May 2024, so if you haven't already found him, and he's not exclusive anywhere, you can find him at Target, Walmart, Amazon, uh, you, you, you're going to pay a lot more money on the secondary market. With that said, tell me in the comments your thoughts on this item. Did you get it, and how was your experience with it? Thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.